Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. My name is Glasscock, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to place a Pace 5268 AC gateway from AT&T into bridge mode so that way you can use your own router with AT&T UVerse and AT&T Fiber. This is the correct way to place the Pace 5268 AC gateway into bridge mode. There have been a lot of posts on the internet and videos showing how to put a Pace 5268 AC gateway into bridge mode, but I found that a lot of the methods that are used and promoted are oftentimes missing a couple steps that you need to do to make sure that you have the most stable and uh, best quality connection without any dropouts, because that is one of the biggest complaints when using bridge mode with the Pace 5268 AC, is just an overall instable connection when using your own router with AT&T UVerse. So I'm gonna be showing you all the correct way to do this and the easiest way to place the Pace 5268 AC into bridge mode. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you are going to need is a router of your choice that you are going to want to use for your home network. And if you guys wanna see my top recommendations, I will have them linked in the description box below where you can check them out on amazon.com. I like to promote the best stuff that you can buy on the market. So the only thing that you're gonna see in the description box is the highest quality routers on the market. Next is you're going to wanna to make sure that your router of choice is plugged in to the Pace 5268 AC with an ethernet cable. It can be on any of the ethernet ports on the Pace 5268 AC, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can pick any one, it can be port number one, port number two, it doesn't matter, it doesn't make a difference. Once you've done that, you want to turn on your router of choice that you will be using and make sure that it is on and connected. Step three, and this is very important, is make sure that the ethernet cable from the Pace 5268 AC is plugged into the WAN port or the internet port on the new router you're gonna be using. If you don't do this, this is not going to work. And it may seem like a very obvious step, but some people might miss this. So I wanted to make sure that I told you guys about that. So next we're gonna open up our web browser. I like Google Chrome and I'm gonna be using Google Chrome. After that, we're going to log into our AT&T Pace 5268 AC gateway. And the default login IP is usually 192.168.1.254. If that doesn't work, it will sometimes be 172.16.0.1. In my case, by default, it is 192. So I'm gonna be using that. All right, now once we've done that, we're gonna come over here to our settings. And we are going to come over here to event notifications and make sure that router behind router detection is unchecked. This is a very broken feature on this router. It was meant to make bridge mode easy, but I found that in most circumstances, it does not help at all. So leave it unchecked, otherwise you're gonna have uh, your connection from your router to your gateway dropping constantly. So make sure it's unchecked and click save. After you do that, you're gonna come over here to LAN or your local area connection. We're gonna come over here to Wi-Fi. Once we are in Wi-Fi, we're gonna disable both 2.4 gigahertz and 2.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi radio bands and click save. So as you may have guessed, yes, you do need to do this while connected through an ethernet port on your 5268 AC, do not use Wi-Fi when placing your 5268 AC into bridge mode. Otherwise, you're gonna have problems, so please use an ethernet cable when you're doing this. Once you've clicked disabled on both 2.4 and five gigahertz, which is below, and you've saved it, you're gonna come over here to DHCP. Once we are in DHCP, we're gonna change the DHCP network range from 192.168.1.0 to 172.16.0.0. And the subnet mask will also be different as well. And the reason that we're doing this is because I actually want to have two DHCP 
IP network range pools where I can pull IP addresses from. This is going to help with stability on the bridge network because our bridge router that we're going to be using, which is a Linksys E3000, is going to be pooling 192.168.1.0 and so forth IP addresses. Whereas we're going to keep our PACE 5268AC on a 172, so that why there's no IP complex complex. <laughs> there's no IP conflicts between the two routers. That is one of the biggest causes of instability on a bridge network is having both the bridged router and the gateway on the same IP range or the same subnet mask. So it's very easy to change this in the gateway. So I encourage you to do that and change it to the 172. Once you've done that, you'll come down here and click save as you should do with every setting change that you make in the 5268AC. All right, so we've configured the uh, DHCP successfully. We're gonna come over here to firewall settings. Ah, excuse me, we're going to refresh. This is something that you might see. So don't get worried if you see this because what's gonna happen is your, um, your IP is going to actually disconnect and it's gonna refresh to a 172 address instead. So what you'll wanna do is unplug your ethernet cable and replug your ethernet cable into your laptop or your computer so that way you refresh your network connection. And you're gonna type in the 172.16.0.1 address into the address bar. There we go. And we're gonna come over here to settings once more. Back where we were, we're gonna come over here to firewall. Then we're going to go to Applications, Pinholes, and DMZ. And what you will see is a list of computers. And one of these computers is going to be the wireless router that you have plugged in on the gateway, which in this case is this bottom one here. You can see it's a wired connection. The rest of these up here are wireless connections. We'll know it's the new router because it's a wired one. So we're going to select it. Once we've selected it, we're going to place it in the DMZ plus zone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Type in the password. If you don't know this password, it's on the back of the 5268AC gateway from AT&T. I've memorized mine by now because I've used it so many times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Every setting that you change on this gateway is so slow. Alrighty, so configuration successful. So that's pretty much all that you need to do when setting up the router. So what we're going to do now is we are going to reboot the PACE 5268AC gateway. There's a couple ways that you can do this. You can come over here to Diagnostics, Resets, and you can click the reboot system, but the best way to do it is just click the little red button. It's a tiny little red button on the back of the PACE 5268AC gateway. I always have problems when I click reboot system with AT&T dropping signal and taking forever to come back up, so I recommend clicking the little button on the back. So I'm gonna jump up from my chair and I'm gonna go do that now. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have made it back from our reboot of the AT&T PACE 5268AC gateway, which takes roughly about five minutes to completely reboot the gateway and restart the connection to AT&T. So what we are going to go and do now is go back into the gateway by using the IP address. And if everything worked correctly, you should see two things. You should see that the connection to AT&T is up. And if you come over here to settings and back to firewall, you should notice that the uh, router that you connected to your PACE 5268AC that you placed in the DMZ zone has all connections being forwarded on the public IP. So you should see that. It should show the gate, or excuse me, the uh, router that you're using. 
and it should show all and all and then the WAN IP address. Okay, so that's how we know we've set it up successfully. So we are gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you guys something. So notice this, if we come to CMD and we go to IP config, take a look at our IP address. We're gonna see that it says 172.16.1.36, which is our uh, LAN IP address to our computer that we're using. And our default gateway here is 172.16.0.1. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug my computer from my PACE 5268AC, and I'm going to plug it in through Ethernet into the new router that we have placed into the DMZ zone of the AT&T gateway. All right, so I've connected my computer to my Cisco Linksys E3000 router that I am using for this demonstration. I'm just going to refresh the page. I'm going to come to CMD, IP config, and watch this. Boom. Completely different IPv4 pool. We have 192 addresses instead of uh, 172 addresses, which is exactly what I wanted. This is going to help with the stability of the connection. And from here, we can go ahead and type 192.168.1.1, which is the login for our E3000. And that's pretty much all that we need to do. After you've done this, you can completely disconnect all devices from your PACE 5268 AC gateway, remove all um, Ethernet connections, remove all wireless connections. Well, you've already shut off your wireless network, so you don't need to do that. But yeah, just unplug everything from the 5268AC and you have successfully established a bridged network connection. We come over here to YouTube. We see that everything is working correctly. But yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comment section down below. Other than that, good luck and peace. See you all on the next video.